Hey everybody, welcome to Susie's Stuff. I'm Susie and this is my 60 second DIY. What will it be today? Well, I am so excited. I was digging around in my supplies and found some awesome little wooden homes, houses that we're going to kind of jazz up a little bit today. I want to take just a second to thank you for commenting and subscribing and liking. Those are all so wonderful. But let's get started on our 60 second DIY. I am first starting out with these little wooden houses. You get them at Target for, uh, you get all three of them at Target. And then the rest of the stuff is from Dollar Tree. Some window clings, some lavender, and that white shoe polish. I need a clock, here we go. So for winter, I had taken some of those uh, snowflake stickers and boy did they stick. I had to kind of really get those off and it kind of left a little gooey residue so I'm not going to use the shoe polish because I don't think it would cover it as well just because of that residue stuff so I just grabbed my white acrylic paint and did one coat just on the top surface of the little houses. I love these little chicks that are from the window clings from Dollar Tree. I already used the truck in another video but I'm just taking some little um, my what is it the purple Elmer's glue stick and just sticking those right on how cute are they I love them and then the last little few seconds we have I took some of that really pretty um, lavender that they have now at Dollar Tree popped it with just a little bit of a uh, glue hot glue and what do you think how cute is this so springy so everything this season right now i love this it was so easy and you can always grab those houses at target so grab them and make yours today all right and now to our second 60 second diy that is a little wooden cutout of a house from dollar tree so everything you see here is from Dollar Tree, except the fabric. I did get it at Walmart. So what do you say? Let's get a clock and get started. So I love this fabric. I've had, actually had it last year, but I have seen it this year. It is the cutest pattern. And all I did was just cut a little bit around it. And I am using this spray glue from Dollar Tree. It's the purple invisible. It turns invisible when it dries and it worked perfectly i love to spray it on there didn't have to get out the mod podge and use a lot of it like i did in my last video so this spray adhesive worked great i just uh took my little sand sandpaper block and took off the excess and then just added a little bit more of the glue to tack down the edges. Now, if you saw my last video, I used these spoons for some ears on a shabby chic wreath. And I thought I have two more because they come four for a dollar and 25 cents. So I stuck it in the back of the house, grabbed a little um, cotton ball from Dollar Tree. They came in a package and here it is. What do you think? How cute is this little home rabbit? fun little project now you could use this on a tear tray or anywhere you like i had a ball today making these for you thank you for spending your time with me today i hope you had fun and i inspired you just a little don't forget on tuesdays are my 60 second diy and saturdays are my full diy episode i would love it if you'd subscribe and give me a thumbs up and if you have time to say hello in the comments below. See you next time on Susie's Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.